Oh, there it is. There it is. You probably had plenty of time to take that somewhere else. Oh, wow, I feel so much better. I plan on sitting here all day, you know. Uh, whoa, looks like someone angered the god of the vine last night. You're doing a really good job of pissing me off, too. You know, my friend, mighty Dionysus has a dual nature. His wine can bring divine ecstasy in moderation, but drink too much of it, you'll be praying for forgiveness all night. Hey, do you guys know which god you're supposed to ask forgiveness from if you shit a toga? It was a long morning, too. I'd start with your wife. Well, there is no specific god of laundry, so I'd probably just go straight to Zeus himself. Although Poseidon might need a shout out, too, if you rinsed it in the sea. Alright, which one of you bastards pissed off Zeus last night? I have never seen him throw so many lightning bolts. Excuse me, fellas. I have some praying to do. You owe me eight hours of sleep, Archimedes. Fuck you. Oh, man. Thunder. Lightning. I did not sleep a wink last night. Not me. The great Hermes granted me a perfect night's sleep. No tossing and turning. Nice, peaceful dreams. The works. How'd you get on Hermes' good side like that? Ah, the usual sacrifices. I slept through the storm, too. No sacrifices to Hermes, though. Well, speaking of sacrifices, I gotta go take this loaf of bread to the great goddess Demeter. Catch you guys later, Kairos, Siphronius. Why? Why? Yes, why? Why do you have to sacrifice a whole loaf of bread to the great goddess Demeter? Well, you see, she is the goddess of the corn, the grain, and the harvest. I take the first loaf of bread of each harvest to her, and in return, she makes the crops grow. It's not a bad deal. Don't you want the bread, though, Stamos? Of course I want it, Sophronius. It's an entire loaf of bread. But I think you're missing the concept of God and man. Have you ever seen a god? I saw Hades once. What did he look like? I'm not sure. He was wearing his magic helmet that makes him invisible. You take that bread atop Mount Gramos, correct? Of course. Well, I've seen it up there. Unless Demeter is a shitload of ants or mold. She never comes to get it. Okay, genius. So, if the gods don't exist, then how do you explain the sunshine, the lightning, the wind? Have you ever considered the fact that shit just happens? No! no. Okay, take the wind, for example. Just consider for a second that it wasn't being created by Aeolus, god of wind. But, in fact, it was just some sort of natural phenomenon. Like what? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the product of atmospheric pressure coming off the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Have you gone mad? Did you not see Helios' enormous golden cup block out the sun last night? I saw the sun set. Kairos, you're a blacksmith, right? Yes, thanks to the blessings of the mighty god of blacksmiths, Hephaestus. Are you a good blacksmith? There have been better. Stamos? Eh, he's terrible. You're terrible, Kairos, sorry. What's your point, Sophronius? Why would Hephaestus, the almighty god of blacksmiths, make you a bad blacksmith? Doesn't that just make him look bad? I've obviously angered him. How? Did you tell him to fuck off? What? Uh, 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 forgive him, almighty Hephaestus. <laughs> we barely know him, really. <laughs> no, don't forgive me, Hephaestus. In fact, fuck off. And if that angers you, then feel free to bludgeon me to death with your massive, invisible forging mallet. <laughs> Perhaps you are a god. Perhaps, as time goes on and society evolves, we outgrow our supernatural justifications through a greater understanding of science. Look at the ancient Greeks, for example. You know, 200 years ago, they thought the sun itself was a god. They had no concept of Helios driving his chariot across the sky and providing daylight. Well, they were quite naive. Perhaps we are equally naive. 
Maybe in 200 years people will look back at our religion and laugh over its simplicity. And so on and so on. So what exactly are you suggesting? Let's conduct a little experiment. Let's start a rumor and see if it comes back to us. About a god? About a new god. The greatest god of all time. Even greater than the almighty Zeus? Much greater. In fact, that's what we'll call him. Great Zeus. Hmm. Jesus, for short. Well, what would Jesus do? You tell me. He could walk on water. Okay. And he can raise the dead and heal the sick, even lepers. Wow. Jesus is awesome. Hey, why don't we make him the son of a virgin mother? My sister tried that one when she got knocked up. I know. People will never buy it, Sophronius. Sounds like the greatest story ever told. Time will tell. What if the gods create a real Jesus, and they send him to Earth just to spite you? I don't know, I'll kill him. What if they resurrect him? Look, this is getting way too complicated. Let's just start the rumor and see if it comes back to us. Bring it in. Jesus! Oh, Archimedes! Are you forgiven? I hope so. I don't think I've ever prayed that hard before. Well, you missed quite a sight here on the stairs. Oh, yeah? New God showed up. Said his name was Jesus. Took an ordinary jug of water, turned it into wine, right here in front of us. Yeah, right. He did? That sounds made up. It's true. Really? 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 really?